Woman called a hero after approaching a strange man in the airport. But before we start, please give the video a like and make sure to subscribe to Wonderbot and hit the bell so you'll never miss any uploads from us. There's nothing quite like exploring new places and meeting new people. Unfortunately, traveling anywhere often involves a trip to the airport, which can be stressful. Between the long waits and the pressure to make it there on time, flying can be a real ordeal. No one had to explain that to Shiana Murray. Recently, while waiting for her final flight after a long trip, she was ready for it all to just be over. Then she noticed one man acting strangely. Moments later, her whole life changed. Shiana Murray was just one of hundreds of people waiting for her American Airlines flight at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Eager to return home to her husband and tired from her travels, she hurriedly found her gate and sat down. Then she noticed something unusual. A man lay sprawled out on the airport floor. It was clear something was wrong, Shiana later recalled in a post on Facebook. I just didn't know what. So she rushed over to find out. Shiana asked the man, whose name was Will, a few questions. She never shared exactly what he told her, but after their conversation, she knew there was something she needed to do. Call for medical assistance. Then Will shared something else with her. Over and over again, he told her that he was afraid he was going to miss his flight while waiting for the airport medical team to come assist him. Shiana wrote, that's when she realized exactly what was going on. Will was autistic, Shiana determined, and the overwhelming stress of traveling alone had made him very uncomfortable. This realization triggered me to switch gears, she wrote. Most other people would have left Will waiting for the medical team, but not Shiana. Instead, she assured her new airport pal that all was well. She'd make sure he boarded his plane before takeoff. And she didn't stop there. Together, the duo called Will's mom to let her know he wasn't feeling well and seeing the medical team at Dallas Airport, Shiana said. Will's mother explained that her son was indeed autistic, confirming Shiana's hunch. When the medical team arrived, Will, Shiana, and the staff at American Airlines discussed the best way to make sure Will was in good condition to continue with his flight. Unfortunately, they were concerned about his health and his ability to remain in such a cramped space. The medical team said he needed to eat and have something to drink, Shiana wrote, and they were worried he'd get sick again and didn't know if he should fly. Did this mean Will would miss his flight? If your typical stressed-out, in a hurry traveler had been the first one to talk to Will, he might have ended up grounded. Shiana, however, was no ordinary traveler, and she wanted to make sure Will was safe. Although she was tired and eager to see her husband, Shiana was prepared to do whatever it took to get Will home safe. I worked with American Airlines and the medical team at Dallas, Shiana said, and told them I would change my flight, grab some lunch with him, and make sure he got on his flight okay. In response, American Airlines helped out by facilitating Shiana's flight transfer free of charge. American didn't charge me a dime for the flight change, she wrote. The airline took another above and beyond action too. Shiana added that American Airlines even called me when Will and I were eating lunch together to let me know his gate changed. Everyone with the power to help came together to make sure one frightened Will made his flight. Finally, after a meal and pleasant conversation, Shiana walked Will to his gate. American Airlines took over from there, and the gate clerk made sure he boarded safely to go see his mom for Christmas. Just as Shiana promised, Will made his flight. Later, she beautifully reflected on her hectic day at the airport. Today was not at all what I pictured it to be, she wrote. It's turned out so much better. Her account of the day continued. I had an amazing lunch with a wonderful young man from Louisville, Kentucky. While I didn't know him well, I knew he has a heart of gold and a wonderful mother and sister who he loves very much. There's no denying it, airports are stressful. They're loud, crowded, and at times they feel like a labyrinth no map can navigate you through. But Shiana sacrificed her easy traveling experience and spent more time in the chaos for a stranger. That's pretty amazing. Of course, Shiana couldn't have done it alone, and she acknowledged everyone who played a big role in getting Will on his flight. American Airlines handled the situation with such professionalism and care, she wrote. The medical team was also just as amazing. Most importantly, Shiana acknowledged a truth everyone could stand to hear. Every once in a while, we all need a little help, regardless of disability, age, or social status. Thanks for making my day, Will. Although Shiana wouldn't likely ever see Will again, the day she spent with him might have changed her whole life, and his.
It just goes to show you that a little kindness and sacrifice can go a long way. At the end, we want to know your opinion about the story in the comments box below.